there's one more cross stitch here. I am going to do my first video on YouTube about some of the finished pieces I have. I love watching your videos, so I find decided to give it a try. And hope you enjoy mine too. So, let's start. My very first cross stitched pieces are these six small little pieces I did about 10 years ago. Don't know the designer or the brand. A long time has passed, don't have any information about these. Then I did... Sorry about the camera moving. This big piece, Summer Courtyard by Vervaco. This is one of my favorites. My first time of a big piece. I love it. Nice colors. It's one of my favorites. After this, I did some baby samplers for my son's room. These little wind depot pieces by Vervaco. Another one here by Vervaco too, this one. And then I did this new arrival by Maria Diaz. Lot of browns and beige. It was fun to make, stitched on, on 14 count Aida. Then here we have a little piece, this one I think was a freebie on the web, but I don't remember where I found it. Victorian Houses, I think its name was. Can't remember it. Remember the designer's name. Then I did these more recently. This was a sal from a French block designed by Manuel Monarbre. I don't know if I'm saying the names right. Sorry. This is my first attempt on tea dyeing. I tea dyed the fabric. It was fun. This was a sal. A stitch along. And the another stitch along I did was this one. This one was designed by Miss Mouse on one of the Yahoo groups I'm in. Its name is Dawn of Spring. It has beads, beads on it. I love this. I love the threads color. I used for the first time the water lilies threads here. And I, I love them. Such a joy to stitch with. Beautiful colors. Then, some time ago, I did this Quaker sampler. I designed it. It's stitched on tea, dyed fabric too, 28 count even weave. When I have time, I love to try to design some smalls. I am not a designer or anything, but I love to try. I love to learn new techniques and everything about cross stitching. Then another cross stitch I have is this one. I did this one last year or maybe the other year, the year before. I entered this for a competition. It's Magnolias, Southern Magnolias by Leisure Arts. I didn't win anything, but I, en I enjoyed it. My first attempt in a competition is stitched on 25 count, this one. 
was fun to make. I love all my pieces. You know, I, I love everything. I try not to give anything away, but sometimes it's impossible to keep everything. I love this one. These are all the framed pieces. Now I have some smalls I did. The first one. Here is a small heart cushion I designed. It's easy, nothing spectacular, simple. Small cushion. Then we have this small needle book. This, uh, the pattern is more special to stitches here, more than cross stitching. This was found free on the blog, on a blog to stitch or not to stitch, I think. I will uh, write all uh, the links for free patterns down below. Then I have three small three small Christmas decorations. These two were free on the internet. And this one I designed myself. I do these. These are filled to collect all the remaining threads on each project. I fill my ore jar and then I stitch these every Christmas and fill them with all the threads that are left over. There's a small charm here. Love these. This is a small bookmark. I did for an exchange, I think, some time ago. And here is another small cushion. This is by DMC, it's falling leaves. Here is my first attempt on cord making. I did this cord with uh, DMC threads, you twisted. And the cords itself, it's stitched on 25 count, I think, even with another small needle book I designed. I have all my cross stitch needles here, small, simple design. Then, this is my first ever biscornu. I love doing this. I did other three or four, but I gave them as gifts. Stitched on 14 count. These are so fun to make. These can be used as pink cushions or as decoration. Like I use them, I like to decorate with them. I think the pattern, I found it on the block the floss the floss box I think free pattern it was yeah but I will write the links below this is a small triangle scissor keep I designed it's stitched on 14 count Ida Keep the scissors in there safe. Uh, I love this. It's one of my favorites, though. So. I have uh, these finished pieces, but they need to be framed or made into cushions. Need to figure out how I will be finishing them. The first one is Seven Pines by 
Little House Needleworks, this one. This was free. And it's fun to stitch. Beautiful. I like it. And then I did this Noel ornament. This was free with Cross Stitcher magazine. I did this. This was, uh, I think, Edwar Edwardian letters, I think, with Cross Stitcher magazine. This was supposed to be a gift, but uh, I didn't finish it and it's still here. So Then I have these three blue blue dashen dashen i think patchwork hearts cushions this is autumn this is spring and this is summer all i need to do is winter and finish them probably i think i will finish them in cushions i am not sure yet or maybe frame them not sure this is positive thinking stitch along this was designed by Jardin Privé and it says the way to happiness keep your heart free from hate your mind from worry live simply accept little give much scatter sunshine forget self think of others I love it. it's one of my favorite nice saying then I have sensational circles circles I did this some time ago this was in cross stitcher magazine it was free but don't remember the designer I think I will finish it into a bag this one we'll see then I have these two all of our yesterday's designs by Faye Whitaker this is a little stroll and this is swing I will frame this one and maybe this one I will turn it into a cushion for my children's room I did this because I like the kids they represent my children my girl and my boy for their room they are perfect we'll finish them soon hopefully this is my last finish the most recent single rose by dimensions a stitch on 16 count I tried my very first attempt on parking on this one it turned okay I didn't enjoy much the back stitching because uh, in this area it is stitched mostly with four strands of thread so it was very thick to enter the needle for the back stitching I don't know how to finish this yet either and my last piece this is a Hungarian stitch along designed by Timea Tanner Tulip Garden I finished this recently I love this one too so that's all the end of my very first video hope you enjoyed it I have other, other things that I gave I did other things that I gave as presents and for giveaways or exchanges these are the things that I still have hope you enjoyed watching my video leave any comment if you like and thank you. See you.